Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to a video which hopefully is going to be quite a simple build. In the previous video, we built our hover, it's fully functioning, I've done a few upgrades off camera, but it took a large chunk of my sanity, so today... We're building something simple, fun to use, and it may also use missiles again. I am trying not to use missiles and Hawkeye, but this design really wants missiles and Hawkeye. So I do apologize. We will get back to non-Hawkeye builds very soon, I promise. So today, as the title very well may suggest, we are building ourselves a drone. Now, this is just basically a small craft which uses a bit of a glitch in the game to actually function correctly. So it all depends if this glitch even works, at least works anymore. It's been quite a few patches since I've tried to do it. So, as you know, normally, when you add the dreaded hover blades to a craft, uh, let's go with the smaller one here, because it's tiny and adorable. Yay! As you can see, we, we now have a new max height, and we can kind of fly. Yay, but if we go past that height, we still count as flying. So if I were to add rotors to the top and, and allow ourselves to spin upwards, we would still class as flying, and thus the flight controls will take over, and that makes this entire build completely useless. Well, if we go ahead and do this, if it still actually functions, by simply adding a wheel, uh, in this case the smallest wheel available, and pointing it directly at the hover, directly underneath the hover. There we go. The game no longer registers a max height. Yep. Which is pretty darn fantastic. And so we will fly forever when in build mode, which is a little bit annoying, but still. And out of build mode we are also still going up and up and up, because we need some more weight. So, um, let's weigh ourselves down a little bit to hopefully go back to the ground so I can make my point. Okay, back on the ground, and I've removed the wheel. So right now, on the ground, we are in ground mode. If I press D, this happens to try and turn the craft. If I press A, this happens, and then if I press S to try and go backwards, just these activate. As you can see, these act as turning and propulsion. These don't activate. If I press shift, only those activate because they're facing upwards, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now here's the problem, when we go into flight mode, not utilizing the glitch by simply holding down shift, as soon as we're high enough to be flying, all of them activate at once, there is no way to deactivate any of them. And that's completely useless for what we're trying to build. Now you can get around that without using the glitch by using things like the steering hovers, but my god they are nowhere near as good as just simple good rotors. So, let's re-add the wheel, and we're going to make the drone. Now, don't worry, we will be spawning this back into the real world before the end of the episode. I just want to build it here because there's going to be a lot of flying around, a lot of, cr a lot of crashing, I should say, and a lot of me just going absolutely mental. So, you up there, please. There we are, and once again, we no longer have a maximum ground height. Boing. Fantastic. You know what? That core actually isn't too bad. I may leave that core as it is. Now, the old drone was very small. It used Venture stuff. It used the very small pinwheel propellers in order to get up into the air, and honestly, they are pretty good, but I'm not a massive fan of them. This time, we are going to make a Hawkeye drone just because I've not made one before. I've always built Hawkeye helicopters, but never something a bit smaller. Then later on, I guess we could make a Venture helicopter. Except for, of course, we would still need the Hawkeye rotors, the large rotors, because they're the only true helicopter blades in the game, but still, you get the point. Okay, before I talk about the rotors, I just thought of something, because the last time I did this, we didn't have the anchoring system. Right now, the game thinks we are on the ground, or at least it thinks we're not flying. That's exactly what the glitch is doing. So, can I anchor from up here? Oh my god. <laughs> We just teleport to the ground. Oh, that's actually a bit overpowered. I've always loved this glitch because all it's doing is changing the control scheme. It's not modifying how the game really works all that much. <laughs> but now it is. Oh, that's a problem since wireless chargers aren't working. Yep, uh, well, that is also a glitch. Well, I guess since the wireless chargers not working is a bug currently in the game, I'm okay with exploiting this. Right? That's that's not too bad, right, guys? Now, 
Ignoring that weirdness, let's talk about these rotors placement. So right now, they are behind the center of mass. This means when I activate them, they are tipping us forwards, and thus we are going forwards at actually a half decent pace. This is both good and bad. It's good because it means we get some increased speed without adding any extra propulsion, and these are still sending us upwards. It's bad because it means we can't hover in place as easily anymore. So I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing to do. I'm leaning on bad purely because the drone should be really easy to control. It helps with building and it helps fighting enemies when you don't really have the brain power to continue fighting. Basically when you're very tired, which is 99% of my playthroughs. Now, what type of missile should I have on this thing? We could go with, um, no, not the battleship cannon, the auto cannon. But the recoil on that's going to be dreadful, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty- yeah, that's- that's pretty atrocious. Yeah. It's actually beating us and sending us backwards. We need to go with missiles for this thing, because it's going to be too light. Recoil will just kill us, sadly. So, with missiles, we have, of course, the Hawkeye options, or we could use the GSO missile batteries, which I think would look pretty darn cool. Land... Okay. Oh, enemies, go away. This way, please. Thank you. So for those who have watched my From the Depths playthroughs, I think I've accidentally just built the corn flag. And for those asking where From the Depths is, which is quite a few people actually over the last few weeks, I did post on Twitter all about it in quite a bit of detail. But right now I'm just taking an extended break because I just got absolutely sick of the game and once I get to that stage, I'm just burnt out and I need a break. Games like that take so much effort when it comes to just, well, constant effort because every little thing needs to be built from scratch and it well was wearing on my mind a little bit. As you can tell, my mind isn't exactly where it is right now because I couldn't even say wearing just then. A little while later and I've came to a bit of a choice. I've decided this isn't going to have wheels and in fact it's going to be completely a combat and traveling drone. So it still has many of the same purposes as the drone from the last season but this one is purely for combat. It's using the GSO missiles, it's using the Hawkeye missiles, it has a repair bubble now which the old drone didn't even have that, it has a decent battery storage and it has a little power pack on the back which looks adorable. Originally I really hated how this looked and I should still understand it doesn't look the best. But the more I look at it, the more I like it, because it looks like an actual drone power pack or something, which is just really, really nice, with a single little solar generator there. So then, let's give this a test flight. I haven't flew this since I've added the repair bubble and the batteries. Okay, it's lost its front tip almost completely. So no speeds coming from that. Let's make sure it can actually move. Now, the idea is that this rotor fan is slightly above the center of mass, which it is, which means when it moves backwards, it should tilt it slightly backwards. Yes, it does. Fantastic. And when it moves forwards, it tilts it slightly forwards, which means our up rotors are giving us a bit of speed there. And yes, I did just forget the word rotor after playing around with them for the last hour or so. Yeah, apparently my mind still hasn't recovered from the- Whoa, what is with the world? This happens every time it's night time in the game at the moment. Now it's dawn, this will slowly fix itself, but this weird... I don't know, just the overall render distance seems less and less as night progresses, but overall control of this thing it seems really easy. Just being able to turn instantly is nice. Its speed is okay, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it takes almost no mind to really control it, and of course it has branded weapons where you can just fire away and you're probably going to hit something eventually. There we are. Managed to hit it, even though we're directly above. Turning is actually surprisingly okay, considering we only have these two fans controlling turning. We are definitely an, an attack drone. Now the question is, do I want to use the stronger missiles? And that, of course, comes in the form of the cruise missiles from Hawkeye. I don't think I do. I still like the fact we're not using them all that much because we used them way too much last season, so... Yeah, this is really fun. I think we should do some missions with this drone. And the last question I have, then, is do I want to use the Havoc Shield? I don't really know where I'd place it, but it's so wide in terms of its radius that honestly we could put it anywhere and it'd work. 
but that would drain our batteries very, very fast. I do like having this long-lasting repair bubble. Something I've realised is that because we can now hover in place so easily, staying at around about the same altitude and around about the same exact location, placing down our defence turrets is now incredibly easy. Definitely a bit of a purpose for this drone. Here's a thought. If we do have a shield, I think we should place it something like this. Ta-da! This means the front is completely protected from even most of the area of effect weapons, which honestly is the main weapon which is going to counter this drone, since normal weapons tracking is so slow, it can't really target flyers. So an explosive weapon goes towards us, hits the front, detonates, its area of effect might just about damage the front, but not really, so then the repair bubble isn't draining loads of energy, only the shield. But A, I really don't like how this looks, and B, the overall drain of the shield is going to be very high for something which only has one normal battery and one Hawkeye battery. So I think, because of its size, we are going to go without. I think that's the right choice, honestly. And in case you were wondering, yes, the repair bubbles do indeed work on these two rotor fans. I have checked so many times just to make sure everything is within this bubble. And so I think we may as well go out for a test run. Oh no, one last thing to mention. I have hidden two rotors here in this very center. The pinwheel propellers from Venture. Because I just think that looks okay since they're hidden. Of all the things we're out of, it's amazingly one of these tiny little propellers that we don't have. There we are. Could you please create that for me? Oh my god, there's been damage in the conveyor. When did that happen? Well, apparently at some stage we took some damage. Okay, I have not actually seen that before. Who would dare to hurt our little fabrication base? We ain't hurting anyone. The things we create hurt people, which, by definition, isn't us. Behold the drone, which apparently doesn't spawn in Anchored. There we go. I wonder if I saved it Anchored, would it then spawn in Anchored? I actually don't know about this, so there we are, S4 Drone. Yes, it needs a more imaginative name, I agree, but for now it's just called Sphadrone. Okay, once again, Sphadrone, and... No. Hmm. That's a bit of a shame. Ooh, you don't have a radar, do you? Uh, could choose a little Venture one on top. Oh god, that's hideous. Um, we could just hide one on your butt. Ah, that'll mess up our anchoring since I don't want to use any of the larger anchors. Um, where can I hide this? Here's the thing, on the top, it sort of makes it look like one of those hats with the little spinny things on top. Yeah. That's just weird. I think that's hidden enough. It's now attached to the power pack, so at least it looks somewhat purposeful. So what should our mission be? I think it should be either finish off Venture and get to level 4, which I think will be maximum. It'll be similar to Geocorp there. It'll just be XP maxed. We won't actually go to level 4. Or we do some of the Hawkeye missions, the story missions. I think a couple of Hawkeye missions, but if we see any good Venture missions, we'll grab those as well. A guardian is steadfast against us, but we need to get to that trade station. Oh, hello. Two guardians are both steadfast against each other. We choose to watch. Yeah, kill that invader. You kill the invader, we kill you. Everybody wins. I just kind of want to go around them so I can actually have a look, see what's going on. Hmm, note to self. Try to get a little bit further away. How about there? Okay, there we go. Also, this thing goes up a lot faster than the old drone, so I really have to get used to trying to control our height. Altitude? Altitude sounds better than height. Ooh, and pop it goes. The original invader won. I mean, to be fair, I was shooting missiles at the newcomer, but still. 
Uh, maybe the cruise missiles would be a much better idea here, just a lot more reliable. Also, some of our missiles seem to be failing to lock on, so I need to check out what's going on there. Ah, I see. As I change angles, the top ones occasionally clip. That's annoying. There we go. <laughs> and instantly teleport to the floor so that we can go ahead and collect. Oh, on a side note, I found out more about the duplication glitch. It isn't speed. There you go. Look, it just happened then. It's if you press shift whilst you have rotors or jets on your craft. I think some other things can set off as well, but obviously I don't want this one. Ah, how am I going to get rid of that? That's a good point. How do I just get rid of a block? I guess I can shoot it several times? Other than that, I don't really know. You there, could you please stop being... Anchored. Yeah, I'll figure out a way to do this when we get back. I'm thinking a dedicated mini building using lasers or something. I just duplicated two more by mistake. I'm so used to holding items whilst I'm flying around. Hello there. I am a defense turret. Fear me. We've got a runner. Those tech ran off without paying for some blocks that it ordered from us. Go chase it down and destroy it within the time limit. <laughs> you steal from us, you die. That, that's just it, you just die. Hello there! Pop! Here we go again, trooper. Top brass are getting nervous about the numbers of unchecked enemy combatants in this quadrant. It isn't an easy task, but we need you to do what you do best, trooper. Make these suckers sorry they decided to step foot in our territory. Let's proceed, trooper. It's kill people, isn't it? You're turning me into a psychopath. <laughs> turning me into. That's funny, Lathrix. Ow. Easy to control. Still doesn't turn on a dime. Gee, I wonder if I'll be able to outrun this fellow. I'm just a bloody hunter drone at this stage, aren't I? Hello! <laughs> that was easy. Hey! Ow! That stupid level up screen, because it completely turns off your controls. Um, anything interesting? Oh, the payload terminal. I really don't want you, honestly, right now. We could always make you later, though, but, um, whoops-a-daisy, goodbye to the payload terminal. At some point, I think I'm going to just make a video talking about the payload terminal, why I'm not a huge fan of its current version. There we go. Now, with the eradicated enemy techs, it'd be best to do some missions then for some, other of the, some of the other corporations, if I can use my words, whilst I get that done. Hi ho drony! Away! Although, if one's going to spawn directly in front of me, I think he wants to die. Hello. If they didn't want to die, they wouldn't be made out of mission objective. Yeah, you can hit me, but I can probably heal faster than that. I'm kind of testing our healing capabilities here. We could easily dodge this fire. I'm purposely staying still. Oh, uh, yeah, healing seems okay. Now I'm going to dodge by simply going further away. And moving sideways. Sorry, lad. And goodbye. Yes, that was okay, actually. Medium to light fire, and we can definitely out-repair it. Missiles and such, though, will be our downfall. So, if I did want to replace these side missiles with the larger variant, how would I go about that? Still not completely happy with doing this, but it's just not working out. These things can't hit things directly below us, which is kind of the reason I wanted them there, since they can kind of turn a bit faster than these guys. 
but that's just not working out. How about if I remove this back section here, like this, then I add the cruise missile here. Yep, and actually that connection point doesn't look too bad. So these two can fire almost directly down. These two are definitely much longer range, but do way more damage and are far more reliable. Okay, let's go and convert that enemy HQ, which is over yonder. But first, we charge. So we have a problem. Amazingly, that positioning is actually not going to work. I don't quite know what's causing that. It shouldn't really be hitting anything, I guess because it's going along the side of the tech? Okay, how about if it's locked on? Will they work at least when they're locked on? No. That's very, very annoying. Oh, hello. Lovely. Oh, come on, it said it was okay a second ago. There we are. So, that isn't going to work. I really thought it would, since they normally drop a bit more agilely, let's say. Guess we could put them on this. Hmm. Here's a ponderous notion. What if we do this? A ponderous notion. E even for me, that sounds stupid. Come on, drop the bomb. Okay, that'll work. That's fine, then let's do that. And then what we can do... Oh, that's already a three. How about this one gets destroyed? And we place one of these instead. Then the down section. Then you go there. Yeah, that actually looks okay. And this could be a three. So one of these. Uh, yeah, that actually looks alright. Yeah, it looks alright. Last thing we need to do is just connect these. Did I really just do the duplication glitch? Oh, for Pete's sake, it's such an easy glitch to do. You simply press shift whilst holding an item. That needs to be fixed, because it's that level of glitch where you can easily do it by accident. And I must have duplicated so many items now. Of course, we are leaving that on the floor, but still. Whoa, that is one rather large base I see in the distance. Hello. And the missiles work. Yes, they certainly do. Hello there, fella. Not you. This guy. No, the big one. The big one. Ooh, I'm going to back off a little bit here, actually. Apparently, I killed two, despite being locked onto one. I am just... Okay, he needs to die. Just trying to get below this ridge. There we go. Did I kill him? Thank you. Try and stay a little bit low so I can avoid the big fella for now. There we go. There's all the little guys removed. Now for the big fella. Some may call this cowardly. I call it trying to stay alive. Yeah, that thing is just full of megaton cannons. If I get too close, I think one volley will just kill me. Starting to think that maybe the shield is a better option. And the Hawkeye cruise missiles proving as to why they are some of the best weapons in the game. Long range, tend to home in a bit earlier than the rest, and because of how they're fired like that, makes them fantastic from a gun platform, or a missile platform, or a drone. Kind of lock in on that far away. Well, showing the power of being unfair right now. Behold the power of a drone! It's like a tarantula hawk. Those really horrible wasp things that sting a tarantula and then lay their eggs all over them. Sure, the tarantula looks menacing and large and has fangs and poise, well, venom and all sorts of horrible things. But if the tarantula can't grab the tarantula hawk, well, it doesn't really matter. It's going to die anyway. There we go, full volley. All of the weapons. So currently, I have our rotors set so that when I turn, I also strafe. 
This means I'm constantly dodging by simply turning. But I'm thinking I've overdone it a little bit. It's actually quite difficult to stay still and focus on the enemy if I want to have very slight turns. Whoa! Well, something detonated. This is going to take a while. Oh. Excuse me, sir. No need to be rude and shoot at me. Oh, Megaton Cannons. Well, now I'm happy I'm strafing. The enemy is down, although apparently we are being attacked from behind as well. Excuse me. Who was just trying to kill me then? It wasn't you. You've just landed. In fact, you are a chest and therefore not actually shooting at us. But you... That's right, you better try and run. I am one of the cheesiest craft you can possibly build. Injustice reigns from above. Face the wrath of the cheese meta. Did you just spawn in his corpse? That's pretty metal. Now, let's take a closer look at this base. Here's hoping I can anchor here. Ooh. So here's a problem when I anchor. Actually, that's not a problem at all. When I anchor, it completely resets my momentum if it fails. So if I'm going down, it no longer registers any downwards force. I'm sure you can probably use that to your advantage somehow. I just can't think of how right now. Hello, base. So what have you got then? Uh, lots of batteries. Are those fabricators? Wow. No, scrappers. If you really want to scrap anything to do with Geocorp and then make money from it, well... Yeah, that's a perfectly functioning little base. That's really cute. I like that. Let's test it out. Uh, do we have loads of any spare block? Um, yeah, we have loads of these drills. I want to turn these drills into money. Can you help me? In a second, when I start grabbing. Oh, oh, okay, okay, it's okay. It's working. Does need a pacemaker, though. There we go, the unrefined gets refined, and then instantly sold to the cannons. I really like this. Currently, our base does the same job, just in a single continuous conveyor. If we have any extra resource after scrapping, we simply sell it. But of course, this one just sells it straight away, rather than storing anything. Nice idea. Whoever made that, you have my praise. However, for now, I am going to cannibalize it. Onwards we go, into the night. So after this very limited testing run, one thing I can say is that I still hate how the camera behaves when we're this high up. That's why I'm constantly seemingly turning the wrong way, it's because if I turn now without holding the camera, yeah, it does this, it doesn't follow the drone properly, unlike if you're actually on the ground, which is a little bit annoying since you constantly have to be manually adjusting the camera then it tries to reset to that, which makes things a little bit difficult. But that's just something you're going to have to deal with if you're using this glitch and using this type of propulsion. I am kind of upset that we have gone back to using these missiles, but they are just clearly the right choice for this type of thing. I promise after this video we won't be building a Hawkeye tech for quite some time. Because honestly, I'm now getting sick of it already. It's just something we've done so many times, it's kind of ridiculous. And I completely forgot about that chest. However, now, onto the positives. With this drone, I'm actually very happy. Although I've been quite critical about things, the only thing I'm going to change is how the turning happens. I've purposely made it so when it tries to turn, instead of just turning, it's essentially strafing around the target. That's just how it naturally turns, because we only have turning at the back. So it does this. If we have turning at the front, let's say just a very small propeller here and here, which would be so, so easy to add, we could just even use the Venture ones, just something there and there, then what would happen is we'd actually turn on the spot, and I think that might be what I want, or at least just less than this. As you can see as we turn, it does strafe a bit too much, if that's even the correct word, which does make trying to 
pinpoint an enemy and make sure we're always pointing at it very difficult. Also, pinpoint was not the word I wanted to say there. I was meant to say focus an enemy. But on the upside, we have a steaming roast turkey. <laughs> so with that turkey, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, I think we are going to build again but we're going to build something from the other corporations. And just a quick final note, for the next week or so, I will be traveling quite a lot this week because of real life things I need to sort out. And because of that, there may be a slight delay on TerraTech videos and a few of the other series. So don't worry, they will be back to normal by the weekend. But during the weekdays from Monday to Friday, I honestly don't know how much time I'll have to record. So I'll try my best, but no promises. Thank you for watching and goodbye.